thank you, God. <laughs> thank you, Holy Spirit. We just want to lift your name on high, Lord, and we just want to praise you. And we are so sure that you are God. You said, I am who I am. You are the anchor of our hope. And we want to thank you, Lord, that what the enemy meant for evil, you shall turn it for our own good. Because the Lord promises hope, breakthroughs, and show victory will come unto us. And I'm reminded of his word in Isaiah chapter 43. If you have your Bible with you, if you're going to read the whole chapter of, the, of Isaiah 43, it says here, the Lord's promise of victory. And allow me to read to you. I'm going to jump from one verse to another. And I'm going to start from chapter 15. I am the Lord, your Holy One, Israel's Creator and King. I am the Lord who opened the way through the waters, making a dry path through the sea. I called forth the mighty army of Egypt with all its chariots and horses. I drew them beneath the waves and they drowned, and their lives snapped out like a smoldering candle wick. But forget all that. It is nothing. It is nothing compared to what I am going to do. For I am about to do something new. See, I have already begun. Do you not see it? I will make a pathway through the wilderness. I will create rivers in the dry wasteland. Yes, I will make rivers in the dry wasteland. So my chosen people can be refreshed. You know, um... Just meditating on this word, I believe and I always believe in my heart that God is in the business of changing and turning people's life around by giving them not only second chance, but a fresh start. God has promised that He will never leave, forsake, or abandon us. And that He will sustain us. He will provide for us. And He will fight for every battle that we are facing. God is our helper. If you do not find your help, He is there to help you. He is our helper. And He will make sure that He will see us through in life challenges. This morning when I was in the car, God showed me a bigger picture that God, he is impressing in my heart that he is bigger, he is stronger, and he sees the bigger picture of your circumstance, my circumstance. Whatever you're going through right now, he sees you, and he has a bigger and a better plan for you. Therefore, because of that, because he's big, he's huge, he's massive, there's no problems trials, challenges, burdens, sickness, or any needs that is bigger than our God. He is His love, His grace, His goodness, His faithfulness is great and beyond measure, beyond measure. And we want to thank you, Lord, because this is the hope that we have in you, God. We will not put our hope in human being because human being can fail us. But we want to thank you, Lord, because you do not change, that you're always true to your words, to your promises, and we stand on it. Thank you, God, that we are passing through this wilderness. We are passing through COVID. We're passing through a sickness. We're passing through this life challenges, God, and we know that you're going to see us through. Thank you, Lord, that you are the only hope that we have. And thank you for giving us a glimpse of hope every morning, God. We know, Father, that you will not leave us. You will not forsake us because you are not the kind of God that you abandon your people. You love us. You love us, Lord. And we are even 
you know, greater than the sparrow in the field, than flowers and lilies in the field, God, because we are your creation. You love us, you care about us, God, and that we know as we put our trust, our hope, and our confidence in you, you will not let us fall apart. You got our back, Lord, as you promised. And we want to thank you. We want to thank you, Lord, that we're going to see victories after victories and testimonies after testimonies, all for your name's sake. All for your name's sake. We thank you, God, that today, Lord, we are going to choose to rest in your presence, to rest in your promises, to just rest, Lord, and wait patiently upon you. Those who trust you, God, you will not put to shame. And that is a promise. And that is a promise. And we will see it come to pass. We will see it come to pass. Thank you, Jesus. Let your name be glorified. In Jesus' name we declare, amen and amen.